this program contains scenes with coarse language and mature subject matter. Viewer discretion is advised. <laughs> you would call indoorsy? I'm surprised we can still get people to camp. Hey, you want to burn a couple of vacation days sleeping on the ground outside? Uh, no. What if I told you to get to crab standing up in the woods? I still wouldn't want to go. You would get freezing covered in a rash. All right, I'll go. My wife always brings up camping's a tradition in my family. Hey, it was a tradition in everyone's family till we came over the house. My parents never took me camping. You know why? Because they loved me. If it's so great outside, why are all the bugs trying to get in my house? Some places you have to pay to camp. You have to pay to sleep outside. That's got to be insulting to the homeless people. Happy camper! Has anyone ever really been a happy camper? Because whenever we use that term, we're being sarcastic. He is not a happy camper. Well, why don't we just call him a camper? He's miserable. You know who's a happy camper? The guy leaving the campsite. He's the happiest camper. He gets to take a shower. I probably wouldn't be so scared if I wasn't sleeping in a bag. Hey, let's prepackage ourselves for the serial killer, huh? I can't get away, can you? I can hop for a little, but I'm dead meat. You ever have to go to the bathroom in the middle of the night? You know, it's like your friends, nice knowing you. Anyone want to come and get killed with me, or you want to get killed looking for me? We're all dead. That's not just serial killers, there's bears out there. Last time we went, we got this pamphlet that said if a bear approaches, you're supposed to play dead. Really? We're gonna rely on my acting skills? Play dead? Who came up with that? Maybe the bears? Play dead, cover yourself in honey. Climb a large white plate. Don't try to run away from us. I mean the bears. As if bears have some ethical code. Hey, I don't mess with dead bodies. I'm a bear, not an animal. That was the worst impression of a bear ever. I don't even know why we're camping where there's wild animals. That would be a selling point for anything else. Yeah. Oh, it's a beautiful golf course. Plus, around the ninth hole, there's a pack of wolves. If they start charging at you, just play through. I'm indoors. The only thing I like to do outside is lie in a hammock. You know, it's hard to do anything once you get in a hammock because you can't get out. It's like a giant net for catching lazy people. Can't even drink in this! All you can do is relax. Yeah? Never see someone crying in a hammock. My life is ru Oh, this is delightful. You ever get in a hammock with someone else? You better be dating them. Because it looks like you're trying to start a family. I got in a hammock with my cousin. He still won't talk to me. That's dirty. Of course, the hammock's just the outdoor bed. Yeah. I find it hard to get out of a regular bed. It's always sad in the morning. You're like, I'm going to miss you. You were wonderful last night. I didn't want it to end. We never want it to end, right? That's why there's the snooze bar. As my first decision of the day, I will go back to bed. plans has the snooze bar destroyed? Yeah. You wake up, you know what? I'm not going to the gym this morning. Snooze. <laughs> Eight minutes later, you hear the alarm. You know what? I took a long shower yesterday. Snooze. <laughs> Eight minutes later, you hear the alarm. You know what? I always want to go on welfare. Snooze. <laughs> the best is when you wake up, you look at the clock, and you see you still have time to sleep. It's like finding a thousand dollars. This is my lucky day slash night slash day. 
love bed. Breakfast in bed, that's like a fantasy, isn't it? Bacon, my greasy lover. Bacon's the best. Even the frying of bacon sounds like applause. It's like, ah. You wanna know how good bacon is? To improve other food, they wrap it in bacon. If it weren't for bacon, we wouldn't even know what a water chestnut is. Thank you, bacon. Sincerely, water chestnut the third. And those bits of bacon, bits of bacon are like the fairy dust of the food community. You don't want this baked potato? Bring! Now it's your favorite part of the meal. Not interested in the salad? Bibbidi bobbidi bacon! I just turn it into an entree. But once you put bacon in a salad, it's no longer a salad. It just becomes a game of find the bacon and the lettuce. It's like you're panning for gold. Eureka! Bacon! The only bad part about bacon is it makes you thirsty for more bacon. I never feel like I get enough bacon. At breakfast, it's like they're rationing it. Here's your two strips of bacon. I want more! More bacon! What if you're at a brunch buffet and you see that big metal tray filled with the 4,000 pieces of bacon? Don't you almost expect a rainbow to be coming out of it? I found it! I found the source of all bacon! That bacon tray is always at the end of the buffet. You regret all the stuff on your plate. What am I doing with all this worthless fruit? I should have waited! Bacon! How many bacon jokes is this guy gonna do? I mean, I like bacon, but come on! I bet if you put bits of bacon on a strip of bacon, you could travel back in time. It's like a tasty vortex. It would be kind of redundant for me, because I would just travel back to when I was eating bacon. Be a bacon-to-bacon time-space continuum. Bacon! That's got to be the end of the bacon jokes. <laughs> I even like the name Bacon. You can't tell me the success of Kevin Bacon isn't somehow tied to his name. <laughs> You're not going out to see a Kevin hot dog movie. Who's in this movie? Kevin Bacon? Oh, sounds good. If he does another bacon joke, I'm going to kill him. <laughs> That's it for now. Thanks for joining us. I'm just glad.